such a hot day today. I am so thirsty. I've been drinking so much water. But nothing tastes so good than a cold glass of water. Oh, that's so good. Water. Oh, I feel much better. But I'm still thirsty. I guess water doesn't just completely take away thirsty. But there's one who can give living water, who quenches away thirsty forever and ever, for eternity. And one day, Jesus gave that living water to a woman at the well. So Jesus had just finished preaching and he decided he was going to go to Galilee. He was in Judea. And so, well, you could go to Galilee going through some Samaria or you could go to Galilee going around Samaria. That's what people used to do. And who are those people? The Jews. They will never go through Samaria because the Jews and the Samaritans hated each other. And so Jesus, because he loves everyone, he decided, I'm just going to go through Samaria. And so he walks all through Samaria. It's a hot day. He's tired. And so he finds a well and he sits down. He's so tired. And while he was sitting there, a woman comes. A woman comes to get water at the well and she finds Jesus. So Jesus asks her, woman, give me a drink. The woman was so surprised that Jesus, a Jew, a man, would ask her for a water. Because that's not something that they did those days. She was so surprised. And the woman was thinking, give you water? Me? Give you water? And so Jesus said, woman, if you knew who was asking water from you, you would ask her what you ask him for living water. But the woman did not really understand what Jesus was talking about. All she knew was the water at the well. And she, she said, you mean water? <laughs> she thought it water in the deep of the well. She didn't know Jesus was talking about the living water, the eternal life. That's what Jesus was talking about. And so Jesus really, really wanted this woman to know and realize her own sin. And Jesus told her, go and bring your husbands. And she said, I don't have husbands. I don't have a husband. And Jesus told her, you're right. You've been married to five husbands. Husbands, And the man you're living with right now, he's not your husband. And the woman again was like, who is this man? Who knows everything about me? So she was like, are you a prophet? A prophet is someone who prophesies things that happen in the future. She didn't realize that Jesus was the Savior, the Messiah, the promised one who had come to give living water, to give eternal life that quenches our thirsty forever and ever. The woman didn't realize. But Jesus wanted her to know that she had sinned. You know, you and I have sinned too, just like her. We have lied, we have stolen, we have been mean to each other and angry and disobeyed. That is sin. And the punishment for sin is separation from God. You know, the Bible says that all of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. She did not realize that. But, but Jesus, because he's God, he loved her. He loved the Samaritans. That's why he went through Samaria. Because he's God, the creator, who created everything. He created the trees, the oceans, the butterflies, and the dogs, and the cats, and the pretty flowers. God created it all. And God loves you. 
You know, the Bible says that while we are still sinners, Christ, God, demonstrated his love for us. By sending his son Jesus Christ to die for us on the cross. That he was showing God his love to us. He sent Jesus that he will come and die for us on the cross. Jesus was crucified on the cross. He died and he was buried and he rose from the dead. And because he died and rose again, he could give eternal life. He could give living water that lasts now and forever. And so the woman did not realize. And so she started talking about, and she said, when, when, when the, that there will be a time when the Christ will come. And Jesus said, the one who is speaking to you is he. He, he told her. What? <laughs> she did not realize that she was talking face to face to the Messiah. Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah means the promised one, the Savior, God that promised that will come and save the whole world from his sins. Jesus is the Messiah, the promised one. And Jesus could tell her all those things because he is God, is omniscient, he knows everything. And so the woman realized this is the savior of the world. And she was, she ran to her village and she said, come and see the man who told me everything. Come and see Jesus. Come and see the Messiah. And people came and they all believed. The woman believed and the people believed in Jesus. How about you? If you hear about Jesus, right now you're hearing about Jesus. Will you believe in him as the Messiah, the Savior of the world to take away your sins? And if you have believed in Jesus, who have you told about Jesus? Maybe you need to tell your family, your friends, your best friends. Tell them about Jesus. You know what? They need living water. They need eternal life. They need to believe in Jesus. Will you go and do just that? <laughs>